Hello friends, welcome back to Jomi Tech Solutions. In previous tutorial, we learned grid layout and how to generate J panels using returning method. Today's video gonna be a short video. Actually, we plan to discuss and design a complete application layout using J panels. But due to busy schedule, we only scripted the image icon resize method. Let's dive into the scene. Before going further, we have to resize our frame and abort panel because we are gonna create a desktop application so have to make a landscape first come to the init components method change the frame size to 1280 in width and 720 in height you can resize it on your screen requirements but for me these values are good now come to the app ball method and resize the panels width and height with same values to resize image icon we have to deal with its built-in function get scaled instance which comes from get image method of image icon. Let's create another Java class with name generals. This will be helpful in future activities as well. Create a static image icon method, name it get resize image, set a string as path, int as width, and int as height of its arguments. Create image icon as image icon, new image icon in its argument. Create another image icon, parse path into its argument, use get image method, and then get scaled instance, parse width, height, and scale smooth into its arguments. Now return image icon at the end of method. Get into the abor method, remove the image icon from app logo label, and parse defaults dot get resize image method. Provide path, width, and height into its arguments. Let's run program to see result. You can see image is resized, but title is intersecting with a logo. Come to bounds of title label and move in X a little bit like 45 or 50. Run program again. You can see it's all set. That's all for today's video. In our next video, we'll understand flow layout and discuss the application design structure. Until you guys should like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Thank you.